Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2, part 21, Poke Cup Master Ball. This is going to be the first half of the Master Ball round, so let's go ahead and get started. Even though this is still round one, this is the fourth uh, tournament of the Poke Cup, so they're going to have pretty good Pokemon. Not going to be EV maxed, but they're definitely still going to have great Pokemon. As you can see there, we got a Raichu, Blossom, Azrael, Persian, all pretty good. So uh, let's get right into this. Ultimate Trainer. Boy, I hope that's me. No, I'm really, I'm not that, not that self-centered. Anyway, let's continue here. So we got a Azumarill thingy, and let's just hit this thing with a Thunderbolt that might have Ice Beam, so I'm a little worried about that, so hopefully this will take it out. It's pretty bulky, but uh, yeah, it is going to be able to survive there. And it's going to go for friggin' Attract. Oh my god, I knew I should have made Dragon out of female. <sighs> god damn it. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Damn it! Damn you, Dragonite! Oh, and it's got Ice Fudge! No! Oh wait, Dragonite's a beast and can take that, no problem. Ice Punch doesn't even stab, but I mean still, times four weakened. Because Dragonite just has these baller defenses. That's going to do it for her first Pokémon. So it's Togetic. That thing is uh, definitely part flying for some reason. So let's go ahead and hit that thing with an Ice Beam. And it is able to survive. Dragonite just doesn't have that. Special attack, and he's going for Encore, so this trainer is just joke mode, not even doing anything. Dragonite looks so cool when like his eyes get all mad. Yes, it has. It has turned into a one-sided battle. So it's Blossom, and that's pretty funny because I am locked into Ice Beam, so let's just keep Ice Beaming. Wow. Wow. Ah, Dragonite. You would be attracted to flowers. Friggin' gay guy, Dragonite. Wow. Oh, Jesus, Petal Dance. I'm only quad four resistant to that. Oh, a critical hit did 14 damage. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Let's finish this off with a Hybra Beam. Yeah, yeah, you dead. Scumbag Flower. The last yeah, screw you, attracting friggin' my Pokemon. I hate battles, I'll never do that again. Just give me the Jackie Chan, what are you doing here then, face. Here we go. It's gonna be a youngster. So he's got Nidoqueen, a Pidgeot, Primeape. This, this is gonna be interesting. So here we go, second battle. I'm gonna lead off with Executor. 
And unfortunately, he's going to be leading off with Pidgeot, so... And it has a Berserk Gene, so that's really not good. So I'm hoping I'm quicker. I'm definitely not. This could be devastating. Luckily, he's going to hit himself in his confusion. And I'm definitely going to be setting up a Reflect, as I don't want to, you know, want to take too much damage. So I should be able to finish this off with a Psychic now. And I'm getting really lucky here. He is hitting himself in the face. And I get a critical, but that I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. The youngster is so confused, he has no idea what's going on. Just like his Pokemon, they just keep hitting themselves. So he sends in a Nitto Queen, and that's pretty hilarious because I will be psychicking it in the face. And it barely survives. That's too bad. And it's going to body slam me, and with that reflect up, that is going to do nothing. No damage. I will Giga Drain this to finish it off. That Nitto Queen cannot continue. That Nitto Queen has a cool little death scene there. Incredible Pokemon Force. No, no, there's not. The last Pokemon is Ditto, so that could prove to be quite annoying. Luckily, I'm quicker. This won't kill it. Maybe it will. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it will kill it. Uh, Ditto has no stats. So that was easy. Yeah, Ditto really didn't become decent until he got the ability to transform as soon as it came into battle, it, so it didn't have to waste a turn using transform. I'm going to go catch more Pokemon. I'm sure that will help you out. So let's move on to the third battle. We've got a Fire Breather. Whoa. Alright, he's got some good Pokemon there. Arcanine, Houndoom, Executor, Marowak, if it's holding that one item. So I'll go with three low levels here. Not using a 55 in this one. Could be a mistake on my part, we'll see. So you have to wonder if the Poke Cup was made with the level restrictions so that Dragonite and Tyranitar could enter. I have a feeling that that's what it was. So, unfortunately, this thing has Drill Peck, and that's going to do some heavy damage. And that's going to be a solid two-hit KO on my Machamp. I do hit it with the Rock Slide, but it will survive, so that, that's, that makes me sad. So I'm going to switch out, because I don't really want to lose Machamp yet. We're going to go into Lantern. Lantern will take that Drill Peck like a boss. It's going to do nothing. And I'm just going to go for a Surf in case he decides to switch. But he's actually just going to go for a Tri-Attack, so that's fine. And unfortunately, I get paralyzed by the Tri-Attack. And then I'm fully paralyzed. Wow, that's just fantastic. 6% chance to be paralyzed, and I do get paralyzed, and then 25% chance to be fully paralyzed. And that Tri-Attack is doing a lot of damage, more than I would like. I think it is Stab, because Tri-Attack I'm pretty sure is normal. So that'll take out that friggin' Dodrio. But this is not looking good. I've got two low health Pokemon, and one of them is paralyzed. 
And unfortunately, he's rocking the Executor, so that's that's just devastating. It's going to be quicker because it, uh, I'm paralyzed. Hopefully this won't KO. It, it probably will, though. It, it does KO, so that's just terrible. I needed to not be fully paralyzed so I could get something on that Executor. So now all I have is some switch initiative here. I'm going to go into Snorlax, obviously, since... What's it called? Uh, since my champ will just get one shot. So I'm actually quicker here, so that's pretty funny. So I'm going to hit that thing with a Shadow Ball. That's going to be a two-hit KO. And he's going to go for the Sunny Day. Get those instant Solar Beams out of here, but unfortunately he will be going down on this next turn. As uh, I will be able to Shadow Ball him in the face. So that's going to do it for Executor, so that makes me feel a little bit better going into this guy's last Pokémon. I'm assuming it's a Fire-type. It is a Fire-type, it's Houndoom, and I can one-shot that thing with Earthquake. However, the Sunlight is strong, so if it hits me with a Fire Blast, it might be able to take me down. I'm not sure, but it just has Flamethrower, so I should be able to live this. That's going to actually do nothing, so that's pretty funny. But it is able to hang on with the Focus Band, so that Houndoom is going to get another attack off. And I'm going to go for the Body Slam now, try and get a Paralyze if he survives with the Focus Band again. That's right, the Focus Band can proc indefinitely, like, there's nothing that keeps it from proccing again. So we'll go for the Body Slam. And we do get a critical there. I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. I could be wrong, but I just I think it didn't matter. I think he would have died either way. Sarcasm exists on the internet. Hey, let's move on to the fourth and final battle of this video. Going down in flames. Yes. Yes, you are. You had one fire Pokemon, you scumbag. So we've got a rider, I believe. No, biker. And he's got some poison Pokemon, he's got Steelix, a Rhydon. He's got a pretty good team. That that kinda scares me, but I think I know we'll lead with you. Uh hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. Sorry, I'm just wondering on who I should use there. So we'll lead off with Executor, and he's going to lead with Weezing, and that's pretty sweet. Uh, I am going to be weak to Poison, so I am going to try and set up Dat Reflect. Just in case a sludge bomb is coming my way, and it's, I'm pretty sure it'll be able to survive one psychic. I could be wrong, but it actually goes for a special attack. It rocks a critical and the paralyze, so that's a pretty effective move for him right there. And now he's going to go for the fire blast, so that's pretty freaking lame that he was planning on getting a paralyze. Either way, I am going to be able to get this Psychic off. That should take it out, maybe, I don't know. It does take it out, so I was pretty foolish. I should have just Psychic'd him right off the start. I thought he would go for Sludge Bomb and not Thunder. And then Fire Blast. Oh well. He's going to go into Venusaur now. I don't know if this thing is going to have anything that can take me out. Yeah, it's going to have Giga Drain. I don't think that's very effective. Yeah, it's definitely not. So I'm just going to Psychic this. And then Venusaur are barely able to hold on. So, I think we're going to exchange Giga Drains here. So 
him. There we go with our Giga Drain. But it actually doesn't take it out because he's quad resistant. I'm so stupid. What the hell was I thinking there? That was a dumb move on my part. Because poison resisted as well. I wasn't even thinking about that. I thought it would take him out. Luckily, I'm able to survive. And now I can finish it off with Psychic. That was foolish on my part. I can't believe I did that. Oh well. Oh well. It's already been done. Let's definitely bring a Psychic type for these uh, poison guys for sure. Because this is pretty easy mode. The last Pokemon is Cloyster. And unfortunately, I think I'll be dying. And that Reflect did absolutely nothing. So it was really foolish that I used it. And he's going to go for a Surf. That will KO me. Executor cannot go on, so that's enough. Come back. And this is actually not that great of a setup that I'd like. Let's see how this goes, though. I'll go into Steelix here. Figure I'll be able to hit that thing with an Iron Tail, but it's going to go ahead of me here and it's going to clamp me with its shell. And that was a critical. That Iron Tail is going to do no damage because Cloyster just has its huge uh, defense. So I'm actually going to go for a Crunch this turn see if that does some more damage. But now he's going to go for Surf, so I will definitely be dying on this turn. Oh, I actually am able to live. Good job, Steelix. You're amazing. But I will die to the Clamp now. So that's it. Steelix cannot continue. So now it's down to the last Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I'll be quicker. The champ is pretty fast. So I'm not too worried, unless there's some sort of item that comes into play here, like a Focus Band or a Bright Powder. And I actually critically hit him, which I'm pretty sure that didn't matter again. But that's going to do it for that Cloyster. So Machamp is the last man standing. He won't be bad again. I hope so. Anyway, so that does it for this half. Uh, next half, we'll take out the final four. So see you guys next video.